This is the 19 inches wide, three unit height um, set of sliding patch panel. You can see this first layer. It can first is fastened here by the push pin, and you just push it, and then you can set sliding like this. And the second layer is the same. Ah, okay, first layer, just the set of sliding like this. And now I will open the lid. You can see the inside design. It's with a special choice. Each tray is 24 cores, and it can hold two pieces of special tray like this. So the total splicing capacity is 48 cores. And you can see the adapt here. Each layer and each each layer is two row, two rows at the adapters, and each row it is 24 cores. So the total two row, it is the adapter capacity is 48 cores, and the same with the splicer tray capacity. So for each unit is 48 cores splicing capacity. And there are, you can see, there are one, two, three, total three layers. One, two, three, total three layers. So this panel, the splicing capacity is 144 cores. And it is a push like this, set sliding like this, set sliding like this by this push pin. And for the lid, it has the special um, part. It can help to fasten. It can help fasten the lid very well here. Because it's very small components, so it needs some yeah technical. But here, you can see here and here, we have special mechanical parts, and we can fasten very well. Yeah, you can see it has a very firm, impressive force. Yeah, like this, just pull like this, and then it can pull like this. And here you can see the side design. Here is the mountain rails. And here, this side is different. You can see it's with uh, it's like this. And here, uh, you can see the, it's the door, front door, and it has the number one to twenty four cards, and it's EF EF. EF two row two rows yeah here I want to show you this it's the mounting rails like this it can fasten here by this screw and then when you mount this closer uh, on the cabinet this cable gland can help to manage manage the actual cables so that's all thank you.